Hey guys, so I am back and holy crap, I am doing two videos in one day. So look at me, I'm going. Um, so I went to the Dollar General again. I, I might as well just pack a bag and just live there because I'm always there now. Uh, the freebie guy on Instagram had posted a surprise penny item, which was a single serve uh, coffee maker. And it had a specific SKU number that needed to match up. And I was thinking, oh, that'd be good for um, the kids' teachers, you know, as, as a Christmas gift. <sighs> Unfortunately, I went to two and they were nowhere to be found. I was like, damn it. So I missed out on that on that deal. But anyways, um, back to the reason why I'm making this video. So earlier this morning... I stopped by Dollar General to be nosy and uh, try to get that three pack of uh, wrapping paper for a dollar. That was a that was a glitch that happened yesterday. Well, anyways, that glitch must have been fixed. And uh, you know, if you want to watch it, it's the video before uh, this. So, in that previous video, I had said that I could not find the toys with the um, blue dot and the yellow dot. One cute couponer. She, like I said in my previous video, she is awesome. Um, she is a very good teacher as far as like trying to teach couponing one on one for beginners. So she had made a, a video in regards to a deal that's going on. If you spend, if you get a hundred and fifty dollars worth of toys with the blue and the yellow dot. Um, not only will it knock it down to $75, uh, dollars, but there's an additional, I want to say a, an additional 20% off. So it actually knocks it down to under $60. And I was looking for these blue dots and the yellow dots, uh, toys because I wanted to do a couple of stocking stuffers for my two youngest because my older ones, honestly, they act like they're too grown and they're too good, not too good, but too big. For toys so um, I would have passed on this deal anyways as far as getting like $150 worth of toys even though it was an incredible deal for under $60 I just think it was just way too many toys for my two younger ones because honestly they do like some toys but not that much just a couple here and there they're more into electronics and gaming and things like that the expensive stuff is what they're into so um, as I was walking around, kind of like defeated and depressed and sad and crying, I'm just kidding, I wasn't, I was just walking around just to, um, mentally prepare myself for tomorrow, uh, making sure that I, I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I had a comment on my previous uh, video in regards to Krista coupons. She had said that, um, there are digital coupons for the um, brown sugar or the confectioner sugar, the vegetable oil, and the flour and granulated sugar. Um, you can still use those, but you have to, the way she explained it is that you have to take in consideration that the coupons will have to be deducted. So you got to make sure you still meet that $25 threshold. And I think I'm at like $28 even after the deductions, but I'm going to recalculate just to make sure. So I'm going to go forward with the with that deal on top of some other things that I want to add to my cart for tomorrow. But as I was looking around, something caught my attention. <clears throat> there was this really cute um, Dollar General shopping cart, a little toy shopping cart, all the way, all the way, all the way up to the top, which I don't have a complaint on this because I think it's bull crap that you are going to, that the Dollar General employees are going to put all the toys that are 50% off way up on the top when you know that you can nobody can reach that not even with a step ladder i mean they were so high up there that i was tiptoeing trying to literally grab something long, like kind of like a broom thing just to get the toy that i that i needed because i actually found them so there they go so i got a couple which i ended up spending the total um, came out to $38 and my out-of-pocket was $19 and I got three 
for my youngest son and three for my youngest daughter because they're still at that age where they like to play um, with some toys here and there. So I thought that this was cute. And this is little, this little um, clay, modeling clay, which they love to play with that. So instead of $5, I paid $2.50 for that. And then uh, I got a little space pistols because honestly my boy is pretty much a typical boy. So he likes to play with the little toy guns and he likes to play soldier and things like that. So this was $5. And then I also thought that this was so cool. It is one of those Discovery Spy Goggles. So if you see it right there. And instead of $8, I paid $4 for that. And then I got this cute little train set for my son, $2.50. And then this one was for my daughter, the Lisa Frank. That was $10, but I ended up spending $5 for that. And then I got this other velvet art. And this was $2.50. So my out-of-pocket was $19 for that, which honestly was not bad for a couple of stocking stuff. First for the two youngest. I'm trying to get here and there and take advantage of these sales so that way I can get them some things that, you know, make it as Christmassy as I can, um, but saving as much money as I can and also getting them things that I know that they will actually play with. So those were the, the items that I got for them. So I wanted to share with you guys. So if you're walking around in your Dollar General, look up just to see, make sure because I thought it was petty that they will put it way it wasn't even where the Christmas section was at it was all the way at the back of the store like like I don't know if they purposely were doing that hiding it or putting it way up there to where nobody would pay attention and and the back of the store I, I don't know but luckily that shopping cart is what caught my attention and I looked up but if you're at a Dollar General look up and see if uh, some of those toys are up there because I don't know if mine's is just hood, ghetto, or what, but um, I looked up and I saw them there. And there was a whole bunch of plush toys, a whole bunch of other activity sets, you know, things that, that if you have smaller kids, I think that will be perfect. Um, especially if you're getting $150 worth of toys and you're actually paying under $60. That is awesome, especially for the little ones. Um, like I said, I went ahead and passed on that deal uh, for me because my my other kids are a little bit grow or a little bit older and they're not into the toys as my two youngest ones are so if you guys find them let me know and comment below and let me know um, if you guys actually did that deal but again remember you gotta count don't count the discount so just let's say this is five and then this was 10, so it's 15. And then you can just keep adding it, adding it until you have 150. And no coupons are required. Um, I don't even think you need to uh, put in your, your phone number to, you know, I put it in only because I like to have, not only do I like to have my paper receipt, but I like to have a digital receipt. So that way it tells me like any kind of savings that I, I accomplished. But um, no coupons are required. Just hit that $150 threshold and it would start knocking it down to under uh, $60. So happy hunting on shopping and getting these awesome deals. Uh, you have until tomorrow is the last day that you can take advantage of this deal while you still can. Now I know that uh, I think Dollar General is going to have some Thanksgiving Black Friday deals. I'll be honest. I'm mm -mm. Jennifer Garza is going to be at home probably recovering from food coma. So, no, I'm not going to be out there trying to shop for nothing. But, anyways, I will talk to y'all soon. And I will have another video uploaded tomorrow with what I did on my 5 off of 25. So, you guys have a good Friday. Bye.